In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God, our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, we take this time to acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to all my God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made your people partakers in your redemption, grant, we pray, that we may perpetually render thanks for the resurrection of the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. There he met a Jew named Aquila, a native of Pontus, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla, because Claudius had ordered all the Jews to leave Rome. He went to visit them, and because he practiced the same trade, stayed with them and worked, for they were tent makers by trade. Every Sabbath he entered into discussions in the synagogue, attempting to convince both Jews and Greeks. When Silas and Timothy came from Macedonia, Paul began to occupy himself totally with preaching the word, testifying to the Jews that Christ was Jesus. When they opposed him and reviled him, he shook out his garments and said to them, Your blood be on your heads. I am clear of responsibility. From now on, I will go to the Gentiles. So he left there and went to a house belonging to a man named Titus Justus, a worshiper of God. His house was next to a synagogue. Christus, the synagogue official, came to believe in the Lord, along with his entire household. And many of the Corinthians who heard, believed, and were baptized. The word of the Lord. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness towards the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, ye lands. Break into song. Sing praise. a little while and you will not see me, and again a little while and you will see me. 
and because I am going to the Father. So they said, What is this little while of which he speaks? We do not know what it means. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him, so he said to them, Are you discussing with one another what I said? A little while and you will not see me, and again a little while and you will see me? Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Ordinarily, brothers and sisters in Christ, today the Church celebrates the solemnity of the Ascension of the Lord. However, in many dioceses, this solemnity is moved to the nearest Sunday, as is the case here in the Archdiocese of New Orleans. Therefore, we will celebrate the solemnity this coming weekend. So today we take the readings from Thursday of the sixth week of Easter Tide. Easter Tide will end on the solemnity of Pentecost just 10 days from now. Today's readings point to believing and being baptized. Personally, I think many people are baptized who do not necessarily believe. We might ask, what is the role of the baptized? Well, first of all, keeping God's commandments as Christ taught us by loving God and neighbor. Secondly, remembering the power of the cross and signing ourselves in remembrance of our being claimed for Christ by the sign of the cross that was once traced on our foreheads on baptism day. Then remembering that we were clothed in Christ and therefore acting in like manner and therefore being a light of faith, so that we can go out to meet the Lord with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. And finally, remembering the Ephephatharach, whereby our ears were blessed to receive God's word, and our mouth blessed to proclaim his faith. We might ask ourselves, are we proclaimers? We are called, actually, to put on Christ every day. And every day is a mission in the name of Jesus Christ, doing what he did. And so I want you to remember that we are called, we are not called, I should say, to be like other Christians. We are called to be like Christ. Let us pray. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for Archbishop Gregory Amen, Bishop Ferdinand Sherry, Archbishop Hughes, all of our priests, our deacons, our religious. We pray too for our seminarians, especially those who will be ordained to the priesthood on May 30th, as well as Deacon Michael Laney, who will be our deacon intern here at St. Anne, this summer, we pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for peace among nations. We pray, indeed, for the safety of our military, our police, and first responders. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for those who are ill in any way, those in hospital or who are going to surgery, or those may be recovering at this time. We pray for strength in mind, body, and spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray, Lord, for those gone before us marked with the signs of faith, especially those who died as a result of the coronavirus and their grieving families. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray, too, for all those who will be celebrating 
for this communion this coming Saturday here at St. Anne Church. And for their family members, we pray to the Lord. Glory, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Anne, St. Joachim, Blessed Francis A. D. R. C. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us a bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your name, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to so acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you. Yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they are claimed. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Holy sign and eyes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Holy sign and You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Gregory our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into a life of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be poor to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those now called to the supper of the Lord.
as live stream, I invite you to pray with me the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who restore us to eternal life and the resurrection of Christ, increasing us, we pray, the fruits of this past of sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Praise God. God. Hallelujah.